Hi there. In this Sage Business Cloud video, we'll quickly look at how we can record over-the-counter sales or sales that come from another point-of-sale system. So basically, um, the scenario here is we have a bunch of customers that come in during the day. Um, they pay for the products at the time of purchase. So we have some way to capture all of those sales and then we enter them into the system at the end of the day. So we simply go to sales, sales invoices, and invoices, new invoice. And I'll create a new customer on the fly. So I'll choose the drop down choose add customer and I'll call this daily counter sales and we need to at least choose the province for the taxes <clears throat> we can also choose under the defaults the price that this customer gets they just get the regular price so I'll choose save and then I'm going to add all of the items. It's just uh, one of each of these items. So we have a carry bag. And we have a tenor recorder. And we have a sax strap. saxophone stand I'm just going to drag that up saxophone stand that is and a student violin and a couple of P101s I think you just type in 101 it should come up yep those are all the 101s. It's a P101, P for percussion that we want. We're going to sell two of those, though. So GST and PST have been selected for all of these by default. So we're all set. Oh, before I forget, I'm going to enter the correct date. I always forget that. So that's, uh, I'm going to use 3 slash 17 slash 17. And I'll quickly save this. Now, again, we received payment at the time of purchase for these um, items. So I'm just going to quickly choose record payment as well. And the payment date is the same. So 317, 17. It's going into my cash box, which is 1020 for me. Cash for deposit. And they all paid cash. If there was a, um, a document that was produced by the point of sale, you could add its number there if you like. I'm just going to choose record. Now, a few days later, one of those customers comes back and returns the student violin. He realizes he doesn't need one, he already had one, or he doesn't like it. So I'm going to process the return, which is the credit note. So I'll choose sales credit notes. And I'll choose new credit note. And here I could either use uh, one-time customer or I could use daily counter sales it doesn't really matter I'll use the daily counter sales because that's what I used last time and the date now is uh, March 31st it's 331 17 and he returned the uh, student violin. There we go. 
and you have to use the same taxes and I'm just gonna make a note of who returned this so I'll say Jim Barker and say cash refund on returned item And there we go. Now, when I record this, it doesn't give me a choice of what we want to do with that credit note. So uh, a choice would be something like apply it to f a future invoice, um, give a credit to the account, or pay him in cash. So we're paying him in cash, so I'm going to just choose record refund. Choose record refund and date refunded, same date. There we go. 3 slash 31. You want to highlight the entire date and then type in the date sometimes. Depends on the browser, it seems like. And that's coming from the same account that we deposited to the cash box. And we're giving it to him in cash. And I'm going to refund that amount. So, again, that was uh, over the counter sales. So, for all of our walk in customers, we recorded all of the sales for a particular day. And then one of those items was returned. So, we gave the customer a cash refund. Thanks so much for watching.